What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with part 46 of the GTA 5 first person mode walkthrough. And we're going to have to go ahead and switch over to Franklin, but this was just a beautiful, a beautiful sun and lighting. I just thought I was going to show you guys. But yeah, we got to switch to Franklin to do this next mission because he is currently tailing the architect. As you know from about one or two episodes ago, this is what is happening because we need the heist to go through and we need plans for the FIB building or IA. I'm not sure which one it is. It's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right. Don't fuck it up. All right. Well, okay then. Tell the architect and get the plans. Which one's the architect? I'm assuming it's that guy. Not that guy. Got you. Should I move forward or you gotta get out of your car, buddy. <laughs> I'm just like standing here waiting. Oh Hey stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection! Architect on site! You could hear the snobbiness of the architect's voice from here. It's on the clipboard, man. She ain't got anything written down, dude. She should probably fix that. Damn unions. What's up, guys? How's it going today, fellas? Yeah, pretty good. I love all the construction sounds. Whoa, this building looks sweet on PS4. Love the updated graphics. They're so nice. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. I love catching the little dialogue that you necessarily wouldn't hear if you just went ahead with the mission. Let's go up this elevator. They should give you free roam in here. Can't really see anything. It locks your angle in. I wish this thing was used in GTA Online. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. Oh, boy. We're pretty high up. Oh, I probably shouldn't walk here. What's up, guys? Okay, get the architect to give up the briefcase. Should I knock him out, or what should I do? Going all sneaky right now. What don't they see? It's in the plan. I'm just gonna knock him out. All sneaky deaky like. <sighs> Nighty night. These are my plans now. If I had a parachute, I would just kind of jump out. But that's not the case. Can I go through these? Oh, I can. Sweet. Down I go. I love how you have the briefcase in your hand. It's pretty sweet. What's this? Oh. Alright. Let's get out of here. Who is this? Boom, and we out. I thought I'd just take off. Oh, the hat. <laughs> okay, let's steal a car because my car is a bit far away. I just lost the briefcase. Like, where did it go? No idea. Stop. Making noise. Let's get out of here, slick. I'll 
goal is not to crash. My goal is not to crash. Oh boy, we should be good. We should be good. That was fairly easy. I remember having some more trouble with that. Or was it the assassination mission? There's two things that happened in that sort of area. So I'm pretty sure it was either or. Oh, Michael's car is here. I think now we get to decide if we're doing this loud or smart. Once we get in here, let's give him the plans. Ah, it's crack. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. Hey, right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by the vision of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now, Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Well, the fire crew run sounds pretty cool, but really boring with the mopping. And the roof entry one just sounds really badass and awesome, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. Of course. Now, you'll need a, a hacker, a gunman, and a driver. The hacker won't come in with you, but they'll help you break the system, talking you through the process from a remote location. All right, so we got Paige, Christian Belts. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Um, really not going to risk that. This chick is, like, maxed out, so I'm going to go with her. They did good Evangelico, remember? I don't know how long it'll take you to get into the network. The gunman's there to buy you the time you need. This guy's new to my knowledge. I like Mr... McCreary. After what I saw this guy do to two dozen bad cops and a half a ton of armor, I'd take him anywhere. The driver will be waiting outside on getaway. They'll source a vehicle, so bear that in mind. Hmm. I honestly probably don't need the best driver for this, seeing as I'll just grab it and go. But you know what? Screw it. Probably don't even need money that much in this After game. After what went down at the jewelry store, I could definitely take a chance on them again. Okay, that all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. <laughs> yeah, it looks perfect. We're gonna hop in through the roof, kill stuff, hack into stuff, and then we're out. Very simplified plan. You don't need to do the janitor stuff. That is actually boring, I can tell you from experience. So, it's and the best one. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. Alright, shit, hit. You know, um... I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, 
As long as he can't do it without us. Okay. That's it. Lesser knows. Let's go ahead and say that auto save. Architects plans. Quick getaway. Mm hmm. Pretty sure you can mess it up if you botch it, like people come and attack you. But I did it fairly clean. So that was pretty good on me. Can you grab this water? It makes a loud noise when you hit it. It's kind of funny. So yeah, it looks like we're going to go ahead and get this mission done. Another heist. I think this is the second last heist, maybe. Memory serves me correctly. Let's check what the next mission is, though, just in case. So we got Solomon Richards. Working on the movie Meltdown or Crackdown. I think it's Meltdown. So that's going to be very interesting. We're probably going to do that mission next. We got Tracy calling us real quick. Let's see what's happening. Hey, Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. You can now make a choice whether to help Michael's family member or not. Press X to help or circle to refuse. I'm going to help her. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. It's interesting. I've never actually done these missions. Like, when I played it before on the PS3, even on the Xbox 360, because I beat the game on both, I actually never took the time to go ahead and do any of these. Besides, like, maybe one odd one for his wife, but it's going to be interesting to see how this one plays out. Oh! I just turn freaking turn freaking lanes at the last second there, buddy. Thank you. All right, let's go see where Stalker is. If it's Laszlo, he's dead. No mercy this time. Not like there was much mercy last time, to be honest. But right, let's pull in here. Daddy, come on, get in the car. Let's go. All right. I like the whip. I like the whip, Tracy. Let's see if we can find him. We should try over at Hawaiian Snow for him. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than... Is he here? No, oh my god. He's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Her eyes were freaking creepy right Where'd there. You meet this guy. Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A plot petition? Yo, you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. Okay, so you're not gonna tell me. Got you. Thanks, Tracy. Really appreciate it. I'm just saving your life and stuff. See him? She'll be back as soon as she finishes this. I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell. Rockford Plaza. Alright. I'm on my way. I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? Yeah, yeah, the videos. Ah, oh, well, now you just got to find a way to make money out of it. <laughs> <laughs> why, um, why do I think she's doing why porn? <laughs> why do I think that? We found this brick? Photography. Not yet. Okay. Oh, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoop? Nice yeah, Crockahoop. That sounds My likely. Very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. Ah, purple car, that's him. Fuck, he's on you. Let's go. Have to stop his car. <laughs> what hey, what are you running for, pal? You crashed into a tree. Let's talk. Seriously. I didn't know she already had a sugar daddy. Um, okay. I'm just going to shoot his tires out and then... Or I can stop it ahead of time. That's so creepy when there's a grown man in the car. I swear he was going to do something, Dad. Yeah, well, now we're the ones who are going to do something. All kinds of things. I'm going to keep spinning him out. I don't know if it actually means, like, stop his car. Or does it mean kill him? Hey, creepo. I'm her father, not a sugar daddy. You've raised a great kid, Mr. Sucks. Very. 
Entrepreneurial. Oh shit! Let me up. Let me up. Get him, Daddy. Wait. Oh, why did it click? I think I got his tires. There we go. He's out of the car. Don't run. Why are you running? I get it. I'm going. Oh shit! I'm, an I'm gonna shoot him in the freaking foot. Sorry, Tracy. Oh we weren't supposed to see your dad get hit. This guy's... This guy's dodging it. There we go. Oh, what the hell? He should be injured. Well, we're on pursuit over here. <laughs> we got a stalker with a bullet in his foot. Like, I want to talk to him. I don't want to kill him. Why are you running, sir? Running won't help. That ain't love. It's the internet. You're a cyber creep. You're right. You're right. I'm getting help. Don't kill me. I won't kill you. Just stop. Michael, tell him that. Run, you little bastard. All the way out of town. I'll leave the state. I promise. I'm going to Thailand. I mean rehab. Oh, gosh. Here comes a super punch. I I'm right here, man. I'm right here. I learned my lesson. Oh, I actually gotta let him escape. Nah, it's not happening. Leave me alone. Nope. Nope. This guy's. I'm gone. I'll disappear. This guy's flying around I'm the map. Of myself. This is too much fun. Don't stock Tracy. Got it. I just knocked him out. I don't think, in actuality, it wouldn't have killed him. What is that? What is he wearing on his necklace? Oh, what is that? It's like the secret to the jetpack. Okay, let's get back to Tracy. Tracy, my dear, I chased your stalker and probably gained a lot of stamina. I'm just gonna whip this guy off his bike. Oh no. Tracy, pull up the car a bit. Your dad's a bit old. And fat. <laughs> and out of shape. Gosh, this is pretty far. That's pretty cool. I hadn't done that before, so I guess you could actually let him escape, but then... Tracy probably wouldn't be too happy. I'm actually curious what would happen. He, like, helps you in the last mission. That'd be craziness. Alright, we're almost there. Those sprinklers. I should sell this car. Alright, we're here. What happened, Daddy? Guy had an accident. I'm sorry. She doesn't seem too faced. Can we put the drop top on this? I can't believe you did that! What? We had to be sure. I just wanted you to this was infinitely more persuasive. I never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Now grow up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess. He really scared me, but I, I didn't want... Well, then pretend it never happened. Like I try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Okay, that's right. Denial kind of works for me. Good, that's my girl. Now, please, try to make better choices. No creepy stalkers in this joint, honey. Just creepy brothers, killers, drug dealers. Thanks, Daddy, bye. I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. There you go, Tracy. She kind of accepted it at the end. That was good. Mission passed. This <laughs> is a lot of good stuff. It's a lot of good stuff, guys. Okay, that's going to be it for part 46. I hope you enjoyed it. We had a little fun mission at the end there. And we also got the architect's plan, so we will move forward with the heist. Probably in part 48, part 47, I'm going to go ahead and do Solomon's thing. 
So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Again, if you did enjoy it, do be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We're almost at a million. We're less than 10,000 away, so I wanted to extend a big thank you to you guys. And Lester just said we're on L, which is Lester. So we could do that heist, but we're going to do Solomon's thing first. And again, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to press that thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and peace out.